Hello and welcome to my channel. Now, I don't usually cover all that much in terms of Ghost Recon. I am a member of the Delta Company program and I played a lot of Wildlands, I played a lot of Breakpoint and I played a lot of uh, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 1 and 2. Uh, not so much Future Soldier, I pretty much skipped that because <laughs> I felt Future Soldier did not really represent the tenants of the Ghost Recon franchise, but... And the franchise is what we are going to discuss today, or rather I am gonna monologue about it, and if you have an opinion about what I say, you can say so in the comments, and I encourage you to do so because we need to have this discussion about what the Ghost Recon franchise is. Now, during the 20 year anniversary stream, there was a lot of people who were outraged and felt that Ghost Recon Frontlines is not a Ghost Recon game, and I am one of them. I feel that between Ghost Recon um, Frontlines between uh, the Division Motherland, or is it Heartland? I can't really tell. Um, or, and X Defiant. I feel like Ubisoft is splitting what player base it could have on a multiplayer focused shooter between free games. And this is. This, this is insane, because if Hyperscape showed them anything, is that the Battle Royale format can be very finicky, even with one shooter. And, let me get this straight, Hyperscape was not necessarily a bad idea. They went for adapting the Siege Engine into a Battle Royale style, but what they had not really counted on was that the fad has faded. People who want to play Battle Royale are already invested in any of the games, primarily Warzone or Fortnite or whatever they now play. They are invested into them. They have spent money, they have spent time, they have built relationships with these people they have met in the game, and they're not about to switch. I mean, the only real new players these games are gonna have are people that wanna play with their friends who switch games. But usually that is dictated by the majority in most player groups, at least that I am a member of. So it's very strange to see Ubisoft splitting up the way they are, especially considering that X Defiant felt like th it was gonna be their crossover multi multiplayer title. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't feel like X Defiant might be for me. It looks like a Call of Duty clone. But that doesn't necessarily discard it from using several of the good IDs they have. And when it comes to stuff like uh, Frontlines, why wasn't that an X-Defined game mode? Why wasn't Heartland an X-Defined game mode? I can kind of get it with Division Heartland, because the Division has always focused more about the semi-RPG aspects, with gear score and other things that I completely loathe in any sort of shooter. And I still kind of find it weird that Ubisoft did not recognize this. Because it feels like they should. Pretty much everyone has been saying to Ubisoft, why did you have this idea? And um, Ubisoft has failed to produce a convincing answer to this. 
Now this is not, and I repeat not, the fault of the individual developers working on the game. In terms of how Frontline looks, and I might say even feels, it might be a decent shooter. But it's not Ghost Recon. What I identify as a Ghost Recon game is primarily the no, no. semi, at least a semi-open world, but then preferably an open world. And the focus on small unit tactics. And yes, Frontline has that nailed down to its C. They got the open world and they got the small unit tactics. And, and I f think what Ubisoft is thinking is, hey, we took Rainbow Six and... Then we made that into a successful a multiplayer game based on the tenants that made uh, the original Rainbow Six su su successful. And I am going to be s perfectly serious when I say that I think that Siege is one of the best Rainbow Six games that has been released. Not because... Uh, um, not because it's successful, but because it takes the concepts of the franchise and adapts them into a working uh, working uh, concept that arguably feels a lot like Rainbow Six. Focus on gadgets, the lethality of weapons, teamwork and everything. Everything is there. And that is why Siege is a, is a successful Rainbow Six game. But the same thing cannot be said about Frontlines. Frontlines is a mistake. It is a create corporate creation that in the end is far too much about what they think they are gonna make. And Ubisoft has been overly reliant on the if we build it, they will come kind of mentality in regards to their games. No more so than Breakpoint. There are people today that still regards Breakpoint as an absolute trash game and a failure. I wouldn't agree. And in fact, I don't agree. But once upon a time, I did. And part of the reason why that people disregarded Breakpoint to such a degree was the inclusion of gear score. And anyone, and I mean anyone who liked Wildlands, would probably tell you that no, we don't think that this mechanic has anything, has any place in this game that we like. So. Breakpoint, they fixed that. They fixed that. <coughs> Sorry, just a bit of a cold. And they fixed that. Sorry about that. Uh, I don't run this off a script, I don't edit it, I basically just talk from the heart while I play. And. And I feel that Breakpoint has improved immeasurably. They added a system where you could do away with the gear score. They added um, AI teammates that you can control, that you can order, that you can even customize extensively. So, yeah. Ubisoft listened. And it's time for Ubisoft to do so again when it comes to what defines the Ghost Recon franchise and to me and obviously to many of us considering how people are reacting to Ghost Recon Frontlines what people in general want from a Ghost Recon game is not necessarily multiplayer on a large Battle Royale scale, rather they want the kind of action that made Breakpoint and Wildlands interesting titles. 
They want an interesting world, an overarching story, uh, a villain to fight, and lots of cool guns, and the ability to just insert themselves into the world. And if you have that, you will have a decent uh, Ghost Recon experience, especially since it must be single player based. Now, I'm sure that Ubisoft will say, but multiplayer is the future. Yeah, EA fought the same thing. Do you know what EA did? EA released uh, Star Wars Fallen, Fallen Order. And that was one of their most successful games to date. I mean... I hate the idea that single player or at least limited co-op with friends is dead. I absolutely fear the day when I can't enjoy a new Far Cry. Because I've been really enjoying Far Cry 6. And that is despite the fact that it has loaned several elements I don't really like, such as the level system and all that, but it's still the basic Far Cry experience. There is a solid effort involved in Far Cry 6. And when I see Far Cry 6, all I can think of is if they can do it for Far Cry, why can't they do it for Ghost Recon? Why can't they do it for Splinter Cell? Why can't they do it for Rainbow Six? I mean, Ubisoft get a lot of shit for their formula. No doubt about it. People are joking about Ubisoft the game. And <coughs> no doubt there is some point to whining about Ubisoft the game. For example, Wildlands in particular should have borrowed some mechanics from Far Cry, and Breakpoint should never have tried to be the Division 2. But at the end of the day, Ubisoft needs to look its look in a mirror and feel and just think what are our franchises about? So let me tell you, but as as I end and wind down this video, what I think the franchises are about. Splinter Cell, for me, is the title where you have this grand conspiracy and lots of plot twists and you do agent stuff, lots of sneaking. I hate to say it, but god damn it, Ghost Recon Breakpoint would probably have been better received as a Splinter Cell game. I'm not even joking about that. You're not supposed to be here. I think that if you had Considering the amount of Splinter Cell they added into it already, I think that putting Breakpoint as a Splinter Cell game would have made a lot more sense. Because the story feels a lot more like Splinter Cell. Like Megalomaniac, uh, who tries to sell a bu bunch of Doomsday weapons and bots and stuff like that. But I'm getting off track. Ghost Recon is about small unit tactics in an open world. And I know that Ghost Recon started out basically with the Rainbow Six engine and stuff like that, but um, I still feel like Ghost Recon is a third person experience in an open world with a small fire team against a dedicated enemy in a realistic setting. While Lance fe felt realistic, the world felt alive, you could easily believe that El Sueno existed, or at least someone like him. Bolivia felt alive. Aurora does not. So Wildlands was in, uh, as much as I call it a diamond in the rough, because I feel that stuff could have been improved about it, is still the best Ghost Recon game we got to date. Breakpoint eventually became decent. 
but it didn't become good. Breakpoint could have been superb had it just matched the promise we got in the initial reveal. That we were being hunted, that there were an enemy force that was actually out to get us. But, uh, no. They failed with that. As for Rainbow Six... What the hell are you doing to my favorite franchise? I mean, I don't have words to explain to you how much I loathe the very idea that you are adding aliens into my Rainbow Six. I would go so far as to say that Rainbow Six Extraction has turned away me from Siege. And I love Siege. I still follow Siege. I s just don't play it. Because whenever I do, I am reminded that Ubisoft cares so little about an established franchise like Rainbow Six that they add aliens and zombies into it. And that is not the Rainbow Six experience. The Rainbow Six experience is planning, gadgets, the lethality of weapons, making sure that you have a plan to engage before you do so. And preferably in small unit tactics in a building. Close quarters battle. That's Rainbow Six. Mass murdering aliens in fictionalized environments. That does not sound like Rainbow Six to me. And the fact that Rainbow Six Extraction has gone so far without getting cancelled. Despite the fact that we could have hoped Ubisoft would have actually felt like doing so during the quarantine, because remember it was actually called quarantine for a while there. Talk about bad. I mean, I know it wasn't intentional uh, intentional on their part, but god damn it, that's some poor timing. But yeah. Quarantine, or extraction, or whatever you want to call it. That's a that's probably Ubisoft's biggest example of stepping away from the franchise that they got at the moment. Even Frontlines is more Ghost Recon than Quarantine is uh, Rainbow Six. Because running around and just gunning down aliens left, left to right, that is never going to be what Rainbow Six is about. And some of you will say Vegas. Well, <laughs> I'm a conservative. I don't consider Vegas to be Rainbow Six either. But at least Vegas tried. Vegas was an ins inspired Gears of War ripoff that managed decently to be a fun shooter that focused on not only the Rainbow Team, but a lot of what made a Rainbow Six game work. So, uh, that will be all for me now. I hope that you have been feeling that you got something out of my rant here. And I wish you a very, very good day. And happy gaming in the future. And Ubisoft, if you're listening, put me on a workshop. I will be offering the same constructive criticism I have offered in this video to your employees and preferably your executives. Because I know your employees, they're good people. The community managers, they're good people. And I don't really know what the executives have them doing. 